Now to our Saturday health feature, oral hygiene. You may think it simply comes down to keeping your teeth clean and your breath fresh. But as Crystal Darling tells us, it's all a part of healthy living. A visit to the dentist every six months is strongly advised. But sometimes poor oral hygiene may lead to more frequent visits and unwanted expenses. Well, our news team recently paid a visit to Genesis Dental Center to speak with Dr. Ricardo Crawford about how a balanced diet can promote good dental health. We find that the patient may have a healthy mouth without any cavities. However, once you examine their history, you find that the food that they're eating is high in acid content. So foods such as sodas, fruits, salad dressings, ketchup, lime, kung salad, all these things which contain acids break down the outer enamel of the teeth, exposing the underlying dentin, which tends to be a whole lot more sensitive. I'm not suggesting taking away all of the foods that contain acid. What I'm suggesting is that we eat these things in moderation and that when we do start to feel some sensitivity that we decrease the amount of intake of these products. Crawford says it is equally important to protect your teeth by wearing a mouth guard when doing certain extracurricular activities. A lot of our athletes play sports without wearing a mouth guard. I've seen many patients come in here who have what we call an avulsion, meaning that their teeth have been knocked out and we have to reposition the teeth or actually remove the, the tooth altogether and have to restore the, the mouth back to its natural state. Another habit to kick is smoking. Research shows that this could have negative effects on the mouth and or lungs. Crawford says while he can't speak to all types of smoking, he encourages people to avoid it altogether. Smoking may cause oral cancer and in terms of the morbidity or the impact to the patient, it, it, it can affect the quality of life because if a patient is diagnosed with with a severe form of oral cancer, we're talking about a radical section of the jaw, which means that half of the mouth may end up being sectioned in order to remove the, the cancer. And that is a life-changing surgery. Now, here are a few things you can do to make your trips to the dentist a little more pleasant. Daily brushing twice a day, seeing your dentist at least twice a year, and flossing after every meal and using toothpaste that are recommended by the ADA, the American Dental Association, and using a soft bristle toothbrush. Crystal Darling, Sednes Network News.